Jim Tribe again. Thank you very much for joining us. You're a colorful guy. I'm glad to be here, Chris. I'm glad to be anywhere. I still have Federalis uh, swarming around me. They won't admit that, but they're looking for every opportunity to send me back. You still talk like a politician, like you're running for office again. You never know. I may. I want to get the IRS, kick them in the crotch real good. I want to reform the Justice Department, who investigates themselves when they commit crimes, as they did in my case, and it's going to explode before it's over. This is the problem in Washington. Too many of these people walk like little lemmings over the cliff with so-called leaders. And Chris, I got to tell you something. I've never seen such weak leadership in my life. Beam me up. People are scared to death in Washington to say what's wrong with the country, because if you rile some big, big people, you're done. They're more concerned with perpetuity than what's good for the country. And the country's going to hell in a handbasket. Years ago on the House floor, I called the members of the House of Representatives a bunch of political prostitutes. They demanded my words be stricken. They, they jumped up like a hundred wounded TV evangelists. So finally I said, okay, I apologize. When I went outside, there was this little stringer group and they said, tell us what you really feel, Jim. And here's what I said. I said, I want to apologize to all the hookers in America for having associated them with the United States House of Representatives. Yeah, I think it's a big whorehouse. I'm speaking at a lot of these teabag party, uh, Tea Party rallies. I think that they need a little bit of direction, but they mean well. They're upset with the country. As far as Obama's concerned, I tell these Tea, tea Party groups to say, look, I don't think you should be going after President Obama. I think his hands are pretty much tied, and I think his heart's in the right place, and I've said that when I've spoken. But the bottom line is, no one's dealing with the problems, Chris, because if you deal with the problems, the real problems in America, you get targeted, and you know what I'm talking about. Now, I don't want to give you chills up your leg again here. Jim Travick can't that was below you. You can do better than that. Let me ask you, do you believe you were in any way guilty as charged? No, I was not guilty. And in now any way, you have a jury. You were to a totally forward. innocent man. In any way. In any way. Jim, I want to ask you a final question, Congressman. You were under the law, Ohio law permitted to run Don't for office. Don't call me names. Okay, Jim, you're running. You can run for office. There's no legal reason why you can't, right? I'm you're 25 years old. I'm eligible to run. I'd have to look at the variables on it, Chris. Thing I can't imagine is I come back how well I was received. But what I never realized how well I was received around the country. There's some talks about possible movie and several things. I don't know what's happening here. But my case is beginning to explode. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I may run, and if I do, I want to say this right on your program. I'm going to try to abolish the Internal Revenue Service, appeal the 16th, repeal the 16th. Amendment and go right at the Justice Department who investigates themselves when they commit a crime. Jim Travigate, thanks for coming on Hardball tonight. It's great having you. This is Seriously. Hardball.